It's a work in progress at the moment. But let's say you have an arm. You, a, a small arm, a pistol. And you can't exactly put on a holster because it has, well, a set of wings on it. And you like that. Also, the stuff you want to use holsters for is more for magazines, more for sidearms. What do you do? That's what you do. Now, you didn't see that, did you? What that is, is what I'm work in progress I have right now to carry the Boda Prey LT on my back. Now, let me uh, turn this off for a second and show you how I'm doing it. So as you can see, it's taking a little bit of practice to get right. Basically, I have a GoPro holster, uh, GoPro chest rig that I use. I'm wearing a red shirt to better emphasize the contrast here. And I basically, on one of the sides, I got a means to hold a bit of prey. It works pretty well. It doesn't fall off. It's using the Boda Prey coupler adapter to do that, as you can see. It has holster clips on it. So essentially, I'm gonna use this rear mirror to show you. Well, this one even better. There it is, right there. So, this can be ready at the go to uh, have my holster. And I'm not wasting a, a, a waist holster, I'm not wasting a shoulder holster. And I have a place for the handheld uh, Boda Prey LT to go. And, and anybody knows when we've seen this thing fight, it's, it's brutal. But the one disadvantage I always had was I needed to, um, I, I, I needed to always hold it. Or I had to put it down and pick up a long shot or something else. With this, I don't have that anymore. Now let's try to put this back because this is a little harder to do because it's back and it's gonna take me a little practice. Hold on. I know how easy Now of course you guys know the LT has a, um, a turret adapter. Okay, the turret adapter was made for many accessories. It wasn't just made for a, uh, a, a 2K turret. It was made for many accessories to go on the barrel. And one thing that could be done is I have another 916 coupler right back then. And just like I use a 916 coupler for barrels, like so, I can use a piece of 916. But as you can see, a little hard. It's gonna take some getting used to. Also, it's not perfectly straight. You have to you have to learn the angle. There it is. And then I have two magnetic clasps over here to go on the trigger. Right. And there we go. Uh, the bird is perched on my back. See that? Oh yes. Ah. I just lost this side strap though, <laughs> but that's okay. That's just this one. I will, I will, I will figure it out in a second. But as you can see, yeah, this is a really good effective solution for being able to draw the bird of prey. Now I wouldn't leave this blaster in prime. It is 18.5 at the bare minimum. 16 if I want to shoot soft, but usually it's about 18.5. That's a lot of power. And you don't want this thing going off <laughs> behind your back, <laughs> right in your ear. As a matter of fact, the plunger would, would go bam like that, and it would be pretty loud. But at least it's available to the point that I can draw it, fire it, load a dot. Yeah, just like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I want to get this fixed. I was playing around with this holster rig and I obviously didn't put this in well. It's not broken or anything, so I think I'm fine. Yeah, the rig is okay. Okay, you can see it right there. So this is a GoPro holster rig. And it's got threading going back here and over here. And then I have this wrapped over here. That's the whole holster right there. So let me show you how this works, okay? It's a back holster. So it basically goes in like so clasp like so and it hangs on your back like that see just like that so then when you release it essentially you have this holding this and this keeps it from moving from breaking out and even if I were to lose this okay even if I were to lose the magnets it would wobble and what have you but it wouldn't go out very easily see so this is just a work in pro progress it's a prototype oh and also if you lose let me show that this real quick. If you lose, um, 
one of these straps on GoPro, it's really easy to put back. You just kind of go right here. And you see how you have the, the, that side going on like this? This side going this way. You just take this, fold it. I, I kind of did it real quick, which is why mine kind of fell off. And ha, huh, see? <laughs> okay, hold on. Like this. Push it in like so. And there it is. Just like that. There you go. So, yeah. So this is just one of those developments I'm working on. I got the pigeon shoulder holster. But I always wanted to make a holster solution for the bird and to keep the wings intact. It, I had another idea, which was to make a holster, same thing, but it kind of goes like this. But the wings would kind of get in the way of my armpit right here, and I, I kind of like that. But I like the idea of, like, the sword holster. Like, if you look at Deadpool's sword holster, he has a dual sword holster on the back of his rig, okay? And I was like, okay, I'm not much for melee weapons, but how about something that can reach out and touch somebody from far away? Plus, a bird of prey is actually um, a very handy blaster. It just always suffered... From the lack of a holster, and like I said, this takes this is taking a little getting used to, but I'm pretty sure once I get used to it because it's pretty easy to feel your way around. Boom, boom, man. I'm jumping up and down, it's not going anywhere. See, it moves a little. The other reason I like these GoPro chest cam rigs so much is they do give your holsters a little bit of get, so when you're jumping around. It's not going to detract your holsters that easy. Look at that, man. This is really cool. Wow. I know you guys probably think this is nerdy, dorky. Maybe some of you don't. I like this. Look at that. Jeez. Uh, first attempt, even. I don't, I've, other than the pigeon holster and the Kronos holster, I don't ever think I've gotten a holster right. Like for a new blaster on the first attempt. Uh, see, fire strike took four attempts. Okay, shot fire took me three. Uh, strife took me two attempts. These were strife holsters, and they were skeletal strife holsters. They were a little difficult, and I gave one to a friend. He couldn't figure out how to use it, but it, it works really well. Look at that, dude. So imagine with the shoulder holster here for the pigeon, and then you got a magazine holster here, and then you got Mouser fire holster on waist. Dude, this is pretty cool. I mean, I can be very heavily on, and it's very comfortable. Like, if I were to walk around with this, I would forget. I, I don't even feel that blaster back there. I would forget it's there. I mean, look at that, dude. And I know my videos all not the best quality, but that's not my claim to fame. My claim to fame is modding. My claim to fame is my love for the community, and my claim of fame, of course, is that, you know, any time anybody has a problem, they can just PM me and talk to me. Yesterday I was talking to this guy named Benny on Discord, and I'm not usually on Discord, but I was on Scoon Discord, and I thought it was great. And he's got some really great ideas. You'll have to wait and see. Some really great ideas that I'm very supportive of uh, in terms of, um, I don't want to say what it is, but it's it's great. It's cool. The next time, this is Chris Cartea saying, don't you go changing or I'll find you.